Assalamu alaikum and a very good day to all of you out there. Thank you for watching this uh, video presentation. And the video presentation will focus on uh, providing comprehensive example on accounting for property plan and equipment that is purchased for cash. Right? Um, this is uh, under MFRS 116, which is equivalent to IS 16 at the international standards. So MFRS 116 on property plan and equipment. Uh, before we proceed, this is um, for the uh, cost code FAR 210, FAR 210, F uh, financial accounting tree, right? So I have some disclaimer here. By right, you should have been, um, I'm assuming you that you have finished watching the following four videos that I put here, right? So if you have watched those four videos here, then only you should be uh, doing this uh, video together with me or discuss the question together with me. If you have not completed the above task of watching the four videos, please stop and proceed to watch the four lecture videos above. And those are actually uh, focusing from the framework-based teaching approach of uh, learning uh, the IFRS, starting with objective of financial reporting, identification of an asset, the step two, and step three is on uh, classification of asset into the correct MFRS. And step four is on recognition. Step five is on initial measurement. So basically, those five steps were on those four videos I mentioned above. It has been discussed in that videos uh, together with example and the theoretical framework of it of MFRS one one six together with the framework based teaching approach. Okay, let's go to this part. Question one and uh, question one here you have uh, on third January two thousand X four. Saga Auto, the reporting entity that we are now concerning, purchase a car carrier delivery trailer. Sorry about that. Car carrier delivery trailer uh, from Japan, right? So the, the one that is being purchased is a car carrier, carrier sorry, and it's a delivery trailer. The date of purchase is on 3rd of January. And that is a tangible item, right? So delivery trailer is used to transport the imported car. Transport the imported car, meaning that it was used. Okay, just hang on with me. Yeah, it was used to transport the imported car. This is used for supply of service. So this is for supply of not service sorry supply of goods and the goods here is the cars that you import right imported from japan these are the detail of the trailer which is your item that you uh, have purchased to transport your imported cars saga auto business activity is importing cars for resale so the cars that were being imported are not there uh, property plan and equipment but that was their inventory because the word here cars for resale and the, the property plan and equipment here is the delivery trailer this one and because it was used to transport the imported cars you have the cost of delivery trailer this is not in the purchase price right and you have the custom duties these are also part of the purchase price Transportation cost, this is directly attributable cost. If you can still recall, under the initial cost of a purchase of PPE, it is actually a combination of purchase price plus directly attributable cost and plus the initial estimate of cost of decommissioning, dismantling, and restoration so decommissioning restoration and also this mantling yeah so you can check that and what uh, our focus is not here we're not focusing here but our focus is more on this to purchase price and there are utilitable costs to so recap a little bit from the lecture yeah uh, purchase price and directly attributable costs were discussed under step 5, which is on initial measurement. So, directly attributable costs are costs that you need to incur to bring the asset from its 
location uh, to your intended location from the place that you import Japan and bring it to the place that uh, you intend the delivery trailer to be uh, located um, maybe at the warehouse of Saga Auto somewhere there parking space there right so to bring it for its intended condition as intended by the management so these are the transportation costs so this month must be capitalized must be capitalized in the initial cost we're trying to find that this one also to be capitalized here insurance on purchase insurance to purchase the car not insurance that are taken to ensure the safety of the trailer uh, that are taken on yearly basis not that one this is the insurance on the purchase of the delivery trailer to ensure the safety from the japan to malaysia documentation on purchase these are all costs that are necessary okay at the bottom here you have some other information 5th of january 2000x4 you have that printing of company's name and logo on the new delivery trailer so this printing of name and logo amounted to 1500 so this is a necessary to get the delivery trailer ready for its intended condition which is uh, intended working condition is to deliver the uh, cars right so this is actually directly attributable cost which is the uh, name and logo right and it was used for the first time to transport imported cars when was it 15 of january it was used to transport the imported car um, from Port Klang to the company's location. Delivery, delivery trailer fill up the delivery trailer with fuel amounting to 150. So this one is just an you know, expenditure, right? Expenses. So these expenses are expenses that should be excluded from the um, initial costs, right? Because these are and not to it happened after it is ready for its intended use so then then you have them being sent for service as well and that service was 650 so they have the cost incurred so this shouldn't be capitalized as well because these are all day-to-day uh, -day expenditure of the company you have to incur first service second service third service and so forth until the end of the useful life or until you decided to sell your asset and it is expected to have a useful life expected useful life of 10 years so it is actually more than one year so if you can see here it is more than one year right so it also has fulfilled some um, you know level of definition given in the PE. Okay, the first part of the question is just a question asking you to explain briefly why information regarding purchase of the retailer why is it useful or why is it relevant how will it be uh, useful to enhance or to help decision made by the investor so this one is related to the objective of um, financial reporting with regards to PPE objective of financial reporting with relates to PPE why do you purchase PPE what information about the purchase of PPE would be useful to investors so this is actually under the uh, step one of the uh, framework based teaching yeah or the step that you learned okay describe whether or not we'll be looking into that later of the objective second part is describe whether or not the retailer is an item of property plan and equipment you are to prove and to describe whether or not the retailer not the imported car imported car is an item of inventory but this is the retailer is it a property plan and equipment so this one you want to see whether or not it meet the definition of ppe so we'll discuss this the next part of the question asks you to describe the recognition criteria of a derby trailer to be uh, accounted as an asset as an asset here under mfrs 116 there are two recognition criteria where if you can still recall number one is the according to the standard mfrs 116 
probable future economic benefits will flow to the entity. Okay, and cost of that item, the failure, can be reliably measured. So this is roughly to let you recall. But if you relate this to the conceptual framework, when you talk about cost can be reliably measured, this is actually fulfilling the part on faithful representation, yeah, which is the fundamental qualitative characteristic. Whereas if you relate to the second first one, this one relates to the criteria of relevant under the fundamental qualitative characteristics. So, but our focus is not so much of the conceptual framework, but we are focusing on the requirement under MFRS 116 itself. It's because the, nothing in the conceptual framework will override what was provided in the standard until they are being amended. Here so far, MFRS 116 still mentioned the recognition criteria of probable future economic benefits and costs can be reliably measured. We'll go into that. The next one is that you are asked to explain, not just to calculate, but to explain. Calculate is on this number five, but you are asked to explain. When you are asked to explain, you cannot simply write numbers. You must put into sentence, right? Explain briefly the initial cost, meaning that you need to mention about what made up the initial cost of the delivery trailer. What are the costs that are included in the calculation of initial cost. Remember this one, you are asked to do this actually, explain what comprise the purchase price, what are part of the directly attributable costs, so these two, and also explain what are those costs that cannot be included as part of initial cost. Okay, let's look at how we answer them. Okay, the first part is asking about the objective of financial reporting as I mentioned to you step one why what part of the information on the delivery trailer which is your PPE yeah is useful to the investor okay of course you know delivery trailer this is the first point it is the resources to the entity because the delivery trailer is a resource to the entity they are used to transfer and transport uh, vehicles or cars for sale so the important um, the sale of the imported uh, vehicles will generate revenue to the company and therefore they are expected to uh, increase the profit of the company. And remember, revenue are being generated when those imported vehicles were being transported by the delivery trailer. So with the help of the delivery trailer to transport that vehicles or the cars, it will generate revenue to the company, right? Because people will buy when they have the cars being uh, put at the showroom and they are interested, they will make orders and uh, therefore that was because of the su supply of uh, goods being made by the delivery trailer yeah? and therefore it is expected to increase the profit. Okay, what are the information they, that they will be able to have? You, they be able to, we're talking about the investor, to assess the entities prospect for future net cash inflow. They will be able to assess whether or not the resources the retailer yeah, could help improving the cash inflow. Yes. And then what else? They are also, the investor also would, would like to know how efficient is the management and how effective is the management or whatever governing board how efficient, how effective in discharging their responsibilities. How do they fully utilize the use of uh, delivery trailer yeah, uh, as uh, a way to generate income for the uh, company by way of transporting the uh, goods which are the, the cars or the imported cars. Okay, so information that is useful Right, so if you are uh, asked a few of it, so you just discuss. But here, I'm just trying to focus on two, so you can just uh, focus on maybe the last two. Right, next one. Remember, the next question was asking about second question. If you can still recall, second, we have done this. 
Second question is whether or not delivery trailer is an item of PPE. So where, where does it meet the definition? And uh, if you can still recall in the de definition of PPE, it is talking about this tangible item. Right? It's about PPE, tangible item. And that was used for production. I put P, supply of goods, supply of service, rental to others, if you can still recall, and for admin or for maintenance use. Yeah, right. And, and another important point is that it has to be used for more than one period. One period here refers to one year. And uh, our case here, yes, it is a tangible item. And you need to look at whether one of this definition, you do not need to fulfill all, only one out of these five. So in our case, we actually fulfill this one, supply of goods. Why supply of goods? The imported car was the one being transported by the delivery trailer. And remember, delivery trailer is expected to be used for the how many years if you can still recall for the next 10 years yeah, 10 years okay so therefore it fulfill all the criteria here and it is a ppe but how do you write that into sentence so the first point is that you must make sure that you mention it is a tangible item if you say a tangible item give the proof what was related to the, the item tangible so it is made of steel made of iron made of metal right second point is that you need to mention which part of the definition is being fulfilled in our case here it is used in the supply of goods what was the 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 proof that the goods were being supplied by this delivery trailer because in the sentence we have this part right transfer the imported vehicles i can bring you back to the question you can see here this part okay here that means it relates to supply of goods so as early as reading the question you should be able to identify yeah which points relates to which uh, categories of uh, those being asked in the question and the next one is it is expected to be used in more than one year or more than one period and you need to prove it is actually expected useful life of 10 years they have an expected useful life of 10 years and therefore you can conclude that this is an item of ppe so you can either put this first or maybe you can either put that at the bottom here next one you are asked to uh, discuss whether can this be recognized as an asset asset here recognized as ppe so if you can still recall in the lecture, future economic benefits are expected to flow to the entity. Future economic benefits, the first item here. This one, as I said, relates to uh, the uh, faithful, sorry, to the relevance under the conceptual framework. But we are not focusing on that. And so basically, it was uh, providing uh, future economic benefits. How? When they generate income for the company. They generate the income through the sale of uh, the uh, imported car. But it was the help of the delivery trailer. It's the service provided that were used by the company to provide the uh, transportation of the imported cars that ultimately generate the sales for the company. Second one is that the cost of the item can be measured reliably. So in our case here, uh, you it was being measured reliably because you can actually come with an estimate or an amount that has been given in the question here so those are some example of reliable estimate next and um, that was uh, the cost was reliably measured and normally there are some amount there there are some amount as well next that you need to calculate so, and this one will relate to what you will calculate in the initial cost so the initial cost of next part is you are asked to calculate not calculate you are asked to 
describe explain briefly sorry number four explain briefly the initial cost okay if you are asked to explain briefly you cannot put figures but what you need to mention is that what consists of the initial cost consists of the purchase price how much is the purchase price purchase price of rm 1.2 million and then any directly attributable cost incurred in bringing the asset into its location for its intended use Ex and that exclude the cost of fuel remember and also cost of the first service so that one shouldn't be included mention what is included and mention what is not included as well and you could say as the costs are um, as follows if you can put that if you want to have that as part of your answer but um, that is not necessary because that one is part of the calculation for number five so this is number one this is number two sorry numbering here number three and uh, this one is number four and this one is for number number five sorry number five number five means um, okay number five here okay so um number five is the purchase price 1.2 and add up the custom duties transportation costs what we have already discussed earlier insurance on purchase what we put as capitalized documentation and the printing of logo make sure you do not include the 150 and the 650 which is the revenue expenditure or the day-to-day -day operating cost and uh, if that is the case for this part if that is purchased using cash this will be debited to delivery trailer and this is your PPE how much one triple two double four zero and credit bank one triple two double four zero and this will have to be shown later as your PPE right now for the revenue expenditure which is the uh, fuel and the first service that will not be included in the um, initial cost but that will be recorded and will be later expense off to the supper okay that's it for our uh, first part of the tutorial question tutorial question here is to discuss just those up to initial costs now catch me later for my next video that will give more examples on the uh, question doing uh, of ppe uh, which will also show you on the other parts of it thank you for watching i'll see you when i will see you have a nice day assalamualaikum